Hey, I'm driving to North Scottsdale right now to get a uh, Gila monster that was seen sitting on a rock and then scurried away. So the uh, description of a really fast lizard got me wondering about it because Gila monsters aren't really aren't fast. And uh, so she sent me a picture of it. And uh, it is a Gila monster. So she's watching the bush right now where it went into and um, a few minutes away. That's, I'll see if I can take a video of actually finding the thing if I can. We're going up to North Scottsdale um, where we get um, maybe a quarter or more of all of our calls come from so a few of these neighborhoods up here. So it's uh, near the boulders, one of those areas. And uh, a lot of snakes up here. You can kind of see this is what the landscaping looks like here. In between all the homes, they have a lot of this type of stuff. So uh, every one of these houses has a swimming pool that turns into an oasis every summer. So uh, I'm sure that's the case here too. To your left. To your left. To so my left? Okay. In the here. Right there? Okay. That's what, you know, I was over there. Yeah. And he walked this way and then I ran in the house. Okay. Get all my stuff. Well, I'm good. Thank you very much. Maybe he's just sitting on a rock. And you know what? There's a hole right here. Uh huh. Oh, so many times I put my hand in there. I will never do that again. So I don't know, but this is where he came. Okay. And then he walked that way. Was the last time you saw him when he kind of ran away? Yeah, when he and I could show you. I could show you this video. Let me see if he's just sitting here somewhere. First. I'm going to do a quick little walk real fast and just see if he's sit sitting here somewhere. Hello. I think the homeowner wants a video too. So. She's going to come out and move this thing. This fancy glove, I'm not sure how it works, but we'll find out here. There we go. Give me that guy. Right here. There. I'm going to give him some water too, it's hot. Okay, I looked around and I didn't see any other animals or anything, and I think this poor guy is another case of, uh, well, there's nothing back there for him, so he may have been um, disturbed. Maybe someone was building something new, or what happens sometimes if someone, I think, relocations that aren't done properly or with a care, you just take an animal that's... Uh, tuck down for um, for the heat and then put it into kind of a panic situation and it crawls around just trying to survive and I think that's the case here. This guy's really dry so there's a little bit of water in there already. I'm going to give him the rest of this the water right here. I don't think he'll drink it but just to cool him off a little bit because the next thing we have to do is me and this guy are going for a little hike and we're going to find a spot to let him go where um, we will do a little better than this backyard. Okay, so I just found a spot a little ways away. Um, this is the nearest big boulder pile to the area. And I've actually seen and released Gila monsters on this before. Um, so I'm going to take him up to the left here and around to the north face and find some good deep cover there in the shade. Um, somewhere up there uh, between boulders finding a spot where there is uh, it's, it gets a lot cooler than it would normally. Um, it's a, a reasonable 100 degrees right now, so we have a little bit of a hike to do. Hey, look. 
somebody knew I would be uh, dying going up a hill today. So with a trail for me, oh, nice. Get a bench where they can uh, look for my ID after they find my body. trail goes down. All right, that's fine. I'll just go to here and then climb up the rest of the way. Okay, so I found a winner way up here on the rocks. A nice well shaded area here between a bunch of boulders up on the hillside. Finally found a crevice that goes way down in there. So, good. and stuff in there so things are living there it'll be fine I think that's right parked is over there so time to hike back so right after I got done releasing the heel monster a bunch of bees flew out <laughs> rock next to me so I guess I was next to a, a beehive which actually is good for me because the uh, last part of the hike was more of a climb. I'm not great at scrambling down um, decomposing granite. It's like walking over a hill covered in gravel. But with the right motivation, I got down to the bottom of that in about 45 seconds. So thanks bees. Um, so that's kind of a, a call from beginning to end. Um, Total time is maybe an hour and a half. That includes me checking out the yard and doing all that. So now I get to find where I put my car. Anyway, I'll shut this off. Healers are fun.